Good morning, welcome to Terra at Home and uh, happy official summer. I'm here with Colleen Zimmerman from Terra and uh, we had talked in the past, not too a distant past, about having fruit trees mm -hmm. and the ease of having fruit trees and all the greatness that comes from that. But now we're going to talk, we're going to go a little bit of a smaller scale and talk about fruit plants. Yes. Right, and you're going to take us through uh, some of the ones that are available to us and at Terra and uh, how easy it is. It's very easy and especially with the small fruit usually means smaller plants so you don't need as much space. Right. Um, different things that you can grow very easily are such things as blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Uh, rhubarb is a really easy one to grow, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. strawberries, and grapes even grow and really easily the, too. How great is that though, right? Because I mean, you know, these are all the ones that we know in the off season, we were just talking about this, uh, and over the course of the winter, and even in the early spring, how when we're getting them from other sources, they just really don't taste good at all. And yeah. it's amazing how they complete, taste completely different. Now, imagine that and growing them yourself. Definitely. And being in charge of what you're growing, and the real richness of the fruit comes out. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to get like a lot at one time. Like if you're making a batch of blueberry muffins, like mm -hmm. having the fresh blueberries straight off the plant, it's incredible That's the flavor cool. difference. Yes. And then if you do have a lot too, um, you know, making your own strawberry jam or mm -hmm. grape jelly mm -hmm. and then the freshness of it and then that's also preserving it so that throughout the whole season you can enjoy your fruit yes. and not just in the summertime. And I, as I, I like how you know, mentioned how you can literally just pluck what you need off of the plant and that's the glorious part of it. Again, you know, obviously uh, strawberry season um, being in and around right now and, and how we just, I mean, Ontario strawberries are amazing. It, there's something completely different about that. But as you're saying, you know, you have your own strawberry plants, you can take those and again freeze them and then you get that in the winter versus the big, gigantic, crazy, not very tasting very good yes. kind of strawberries. <laughs> yes, it's very easy to, um, when to harvest everything, especially raspberries and blueberries, just put them on a cookie sheet, let them freeze, mm -hmm. and then once they're frozen, put them into a baggie, mm -hmm. and you've got them fresh, and then you can, you know, make yourself a smoothie any time mm -hmm. of year using fresh berries from your garden. I love that. Strawberries, you can do the same thing. They usually do go a little bit mushy in the freezer, but right. when you're putting it in a smoothie, doesn't really matter. Yeah, they really change matter. a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, and even that, you can make strawberry jam in December if you wanted to, mm -hmm. by freezing them that way. Right, right. Okay, so let's talk about the process. Um, obviously, again, it's first deciding what plants you want to have. Yes. And uh, again, we had talked before about uh, when you have a, um, an actual tree, how you need to have another tree beside it mm -hmm. for, for, obviously, fertilization and all that type of thing, right? But, yes. But is it the same apply when it comes to plants? For probably about 95% of small fruit, mm -hmm. you don't need pollinators. Mm -hmm. There's a couple that you do, uh, one of the new ones actually, the Hascap berry or the honey mm -hmm. berry. You do need two different plants in order to get the fruit, mm -hmm. but it's an amazing new plant. It's hardy to zone two, yeah, so it's like extremely <laughs> hardy, uh -huh. which is great for our Canadian winters. Mm -hmm. um, the University of Saskatoon was actually working with this plant, so mm -hmm. it's got a Canadian root to it, oh, cool. to make it hardy and to make it so that it's easily grown uh, and to be sold. Okay. And the interesting thing about it is the berry itself looks like a squished blueberry, so kind of like a flattened blueberry. Okay. And it tastes like a blueberry and a raspberry. How neat is that? So you oh, get the awesome. sweetness of the blueberry and then all of a sudden you'll get the tang of a raspberry. Okay, so um, now when it comes to the actual features and of the, the berry itself, is it act more, you know, I find raspberries very delicate and once mm -hmm. you pick them, you kind of have to eat them within a day or two. Yeah. Blueberries, does it have a little bit more of a It's more hardiness? like a blueberry. Okay. Uh, so basically wherever you'd use a blueberry, you could use Hascat berries. Love it. That's so cool. So, so that's neat. something that Tara carries. Yes. So you can have one of your own and uh, and grow them. And again, especially when it won't be that easy to find elsewhere, you might as well grow them yourself. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So um, in the process of uh, obviously we have even something like over here we have a, a fig plant. I mean, you can grow your own figs, which yeah. I know a lot of um, Italian people do. They love to have their figs in their, yes. their backyards. Yeah. And, and, and there are some hardy salads. figs, mm -hmm. so that you can grow them and have them over winter outside. That's, oh, yeah, okay. You can do that too. Okay. And you can also grow your own kiwi. Mm. That is great. I wouldn't have thought that because they are tropical to yes. me, right? But you can. Yeah, they are. The ones that are hardy here are slightly different. They're not like as furry okay. as okay. the other ones. So they've got a little bit smoother skin to them and they're usually a little bit smaller. Okay. But they, you can still have your own it is possible. kiwis. Yeah. What do we have over here? And we have some currants and some grapes. So you can grow your own mm -hmm. table grapes, so seedless mm -hmm. grapes, or mm -hmm. you can also grow your own wine grapes. And they look really nice too, like growing up a trellis. And then oh, they just yeah. kind That's of, you the know, they just come down and, you know, you could be sitting in your gizzard and have mm -hmm. grapes hanging above your head. What's the thing people don't think about? I mean, well, obviously we're in a major grape region here, right? and uh, particularly if you're down in the Niagara area, but uh, you know, yes, you can grow your own grapes. Sure. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's not you that hard. You don't really think about that, but it really is actually, that's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So what are the, what are the steps when, uh, when you're about to plant a, a, fruit, uh, a fruit plant um, in terms of fertilizing and taking care? Do you have to spray? Do you have to... 
For most things, um, they're pretty hardy, so you don't usually have to spray too much. Usually, like an insecticidal soap, which is environmentally friendly, okay. you can get away with that for any insect problems that you would have. Okay. okay. And um, a lot of things, they work really well by companion planting. Mm -hmm. So by planting like different herbs and different annuals, like marigolds in and, and things them. like that in and around them, that also helps keep things away. Yeah, that was something I learned from you. I remember like when we started last year, I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting yeah. to know that that does really help benefit by having those marigolds and that. Yeah, so and then it helps keep it organic if you wanted to grow sure. organic as well. Sure. Okay. So if you do happen to spray with this, now mm -hmm. um, would you still use like a type of veggie wash or something like that to to wash them? Just yeah, to kind of like remove. Take a look at um, the spray that you are going to use when you go to the store to, to look for something. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it is safe for vegetables because mm -hmm. you don't want it to be like coating the vegetable too much. And yeah. Then, you know, and just that's make the sure thing. That it's knowing it. how much you should put on and, and yeah, you kind of just get some tips from me. Yeah. Most right. of the stuff that I grow, I just don't bother spraying it, so it may not look yeah. you know that perfect perfect right. textbook plant or textbook mm -hmm. um, fruit, but you know most of these are really hardy, like rhubarb strawberries, they're really easy. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's right, like yeah. rhubarb just grows like no tomorrow, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 yeah, and blueberries and strawberries work really well together too, because you can get strawberries that are June bearing, which you'll get right. a really big flush of fruit right. in June, okay. or you can get ever bearing ones. So usually they're smaller fruits, <laughs> but they go all through the summer. So and that's, I was going to awesome. ask you about that. I'm glad you mentioned that because that is that is something that again it's sad when our strawberry season comes and goes so quickly, mm -hmm. and we know okay that's it. But this ever berry, I love that because then really you are getting and as you say they're a little more almost have a more wild appearance to yes. them, don't they? Yeah, they're usually a little bit smaller, but you can grow mm -hmm. strawberries even in a hanging basket on a balcony. So awesome. you don't need a garden for those yeah, either. Yeah, I love that idea. Okay, so um, basically when we're looking at some of these, like this this big this big one over here, how big is that going to get? That looks like it's going to get bigger to me. They do get rather large okay. over time, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the hardy figs, they'll, they'll be a little bit slower growing because they mm -hmm. um, will overwinter and they kind of stunt them a little bit more, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. uh, this particular one is more of a tropical one, so it does require to be brought in over the winter, so you do need the space to be able to bring it in. Okay, okay. Um, now, this is in a pot, so it can mm -hmm. remain in a pot. Yes. That's okay. Yep. Okay. And, and then every few years, uh, more, or less, more or less, some of the, the smaller, like the grapes and the currants and raspberries, they work better planted. Yes. Yeah, so Especially makes the sense. raspberries, they have thorns on them, so, yeah. you know. Might as well. Just <laughs> not so nice on your patio no. rubbing up against that. No, so. no, no. <laughs> you might as well get them into the ground, right? Yeah, but there are a lot of them that you can, like the blueberries mm -hmm. and the strawberries, you can put in combination to a planter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and you could even try rhubarb too. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, some good information. So basically, what you know, you want to come into Terra right now and uh, and ask you guys all the questions that are necessary and what you need to do. And I think a lot of people are so intimidated um, to grow a fruit plant. They, you know, will do just say, especially people just do. Okay, I just do my annual pretty flowers and then that's it. You got to kind of branch out. So it's nice to come in and chat with you guys and say, mm -hmm. you know what? It's actually you make it sound so easy. Try it. Just try it. No, give it a try. Right and uh, do what you can and then look at what you could end up with and you could have this in the morning. How great is this? Make your own smoothie and it's going to taste better than anything that you could ever buy at the store. And you've grown it yourself. You've grown it yourself. Thanks Colleen, you're the best. That's it for Tara at Home. We'll be back with more right after this break. where color lives. Heritage Perennials, look for us in the blue pots. Good morning, welcome back to Terra at Home. I'm here at Hottie Biscotti, cute little pink shop in Westdale with Debbie, and uh, you are the owner, and your successful little business here, about four years in now, yep. and uh, doing very well. Thank and you. 
I mean, it's because it's so yummy and people love it. And uh, you really put yourself out there. I noticed that, uh, of course, with your, your son and marketing side of things. Right. Um, you guys are always at all the local community events. We try, really, you know, mm -hmm. just so people, hey, you know what, we're here and, uh, and, and we're tasty and we're good for so many different reasons. So obviously being here now at the end of June and going into wedding season and showers and all that type of thing, um, this is a perfect spot to, to come, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about what okay. is Hottie Biscotti. Okay, we are a softer textured biscotti but we don't just do biscotti, mm -hmm. we do all sorts of other desserts. Um, we have um, chocolate toffee pretzels, we've got peanut butter pops, which are a huge hit now. Now that's what these are okay, here, Okay, these right? are the peanut butter pops okay, right here. Okay. We do the cute little bride and groom peanut butter pops. I love that. Like, look are, at this one. Aren't I those have to cute? Because it has a little, little bow tie tuxedo. on it. Little <laughs> tuxedo. Ah, that's awesome. I love it. Um, we can color coordinate ribbons, mm -hmm. we can color coordinate little candy pearls. Um, we've got the tuxedo, the bride and groom um, pretzel, oh, pretzel rods. And that's what's great. So these are chocolate covered pretzels These too, are right? chocolate covered pretzels. These are little tying the knot pretzels. Oh. And, um, and we can even um, color custom and we can put little gold stickers on saying that so-and-so just tied the knot, which is kind of cute. Yeah, that's actually a really great idea. That's yeah. actually really good for um, an announcement too, even as like we are about tying to tie the, the knot, knot, right? You could even like give those out little to people. Little engagement. And, um, which is a really cool idea. Yeah. And so I love the fact that you color theme too, Yeah. right? So I mean, as we were saying, like from, these are great, these big giant biscottis. Yeah, those are great too. We can, um, we can color custom the M&Ms. Mm -hmm. See, we've got purple we've got blue there's about 21 different colored M&Ms that we can put on oh, that's amazing. Um, we also have the colored sprinkles too which mm -hmm. are these yeah. um, maybe 10 15 different colors and we can color custom ribbons um, so it's we're, we're really easy and that's the cool part so so if we're talking about you know leading up to the wedding or or a baby shower for mm -hmm. example a wedding shower um, you know to have the platters you can make I mean the, you yeah. see how beautiful this is yeah it's gorgeous and really someone basically um, if we kind of talk about logistics someone would have an opportunity to sort of chat with you right. and yep. and make it specific to what they want. Yep, they can come in, they can give us a call. Um, usually we like if people come in because that way we can give samples. Uh, yeah. And we love giving our samples out because our samples they, Why would you want they, to come they, in they, then? <laughs> um, so, so something like this, we can and we can custom if somebody comes in and they're having ten people, we can do it for ten, we can do it for a hundred. Um, so on this this platter we've got the mini biscotti, we've got the chocolate toffee pretzels, we've got the snowballs, we can put little peanut butter pops on it. Oh yeah. Um, yeah what are the really snowballs? Good. What's inside of those? That is kind of like a shortbread with toasted almonds. Oh. And we can also do cinnamon snowballs, which are so delicious. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're really good. Awesome. Um, so we can and again we can color custom with the mm -hmm. different colored sprinkles. We've done, um, we had somebody who didn't know if they were having a boy or a girl, so we had um, red or pink and, and, and blue, blue sprinkles. I love um, that idea. Somebody that had that just had twins, a boy and a girl, again with the pink oh, and the, that's so and the blue fun. sprinkles. You know what I like about this too is when if I was you know at, at a party or event and I walked up, I love how approachable it is because they are so tiny. You know, some desserts is like, oh, you have to scoop a big piece of cake, but and you don't want to commit to that, right? Right. This is also great for walking around and chatting with people. Yeah. You can have just a little, I mean, they're tiny little biscotti. It's they're so small and it's perfect. But again, when I'm looking at them, I'm I'm not reading like, oh, this looks super fattening and right. heavy for me because they're pretzels and biscottis. They're just right. like a little bit lighter. A little something. Yeah. yeah. And Another thing we can do, we can put these on wedding tables. Um, all, because what oh, we do is we wrap yeah. it up in cello. Um, and my son's idea to put a number under somebody's seat and they win that at the end of the night at a, cool. a, at a wedding or a shower. Um, or at the end, you just open it up and have everybody eat from it. Right. Which is another idea. Right, when you're having your coffee and tea or whatever, yep. I think that's just a really nice, a nice option. Mm -hmm. Plus, of course, then you can also make a little, uh, like a party favor instead of, you know, how years ago these have the, the almonds or whatever it may be. Yep. This is what these can be. And that's be what those are. To take, to take yeah, a little takeaway. A lot of people are doing the edible wedding favors now rather mm -hmm. than having another little candlestick holder, another little picture yeah. frame. That, you know, people it, the people like it, I think, a little bit more. And I can more. see this actually being more cost effective in it a is. way than having to go out and buy an actual, like, ornate object. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. again, customizing it making it to your wedding colors. It looks beautiful, I'm sure, by the time you, because you would actually, I mean, we can see some of them here, yep. when you actually package them up, however you would do it, whether you put a bow on the outside too or whatever, 
it, it makes like a really nice little. It does, and we can put people. our sticker on the back. If they have their own stickers, we can put their own oh, stickers yeah, on. Oh yeah, they can put like their initials or something right. like that. Yeah, or their own ribbon. We ribbon. can uh, we can put our ribbon on, or we can put a, a tag on. We can do anything that. Yeah. You know, we're so approachable. That's great though, um, right? That's what yeah. people want. The customizing makes it more personal to them. Right. And that's what they love in these too. Yeah. This is a nice idea. Yeah, we can fill these up with mini biscotti. Um, mm -hmm. We can fill these up with our snowballs, our peanut butter pops. Um, it's just a really cute little takeaway. Mm -hmm. um, you can have one on every plate. You can have one for every couple. Yes. Um, okay, that's a true. That's yeah. a nice or idea. Or even even um, for a baby shower, you know, to have yeah. pink and blue. Yes. I like um, that. Yeah. And I think cute. again, it, what what about it? That I like about it is it's very very pretty and again easy and, and it's you know and it also of course tastes good, which is you know I think it would right. just appease people a little bit more. Um, in terms of I uh, you know uh, uh, when it comes to nuts and allergies and things like that. How do you guys accommodate that? Uh, well, unfortunately, everything in our store has been in contact with nuts. Yeah. You know, we can't it is, avoid right? that. So you can make them nut free. We in also the do sense a of... great vegan. I mean, you know, really? put, I mean, aside from the the um, the nut free, yeah. we have a really good vegan banana nut, which is oh. amazing. Because that's yeah. the thing nowadays, people are getting a lot of people are vegan. You're getting those requests, yeah, right? Yeah. So we do get. Yeah. Yeah, and we are going to be working on a gluten free. Okay. Yeah, because so I'm sure will, that you're. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully working on one um, with with um, with a no sugar, not uh, a sugar free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, well, again, so those it's are a few all things in the future that we're looking into. You know, concerns and, and restrictions that people have, right? Yeah. So, um, how much lead time do you need, say, for uh, little platters like this? I mean, I'm sure they can get bigger too for office parties and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, we usually like for the smaller ones. We usually, if you're coming in, just want one platter. We can do. You know, just give us a day notice. Oh, so um, but for larger orders, you know, we usually usually like as much time as you can because yeah, we get we get that. quite busy during the holiday and during yeah. the um, during the wedding season which we're mm -hmm. we're, we're yeah, at especially right now. if you're doing I mean a wedding and you really need personal favors for 150 yeah. people yeah obviously the lead time is is gonna just help you out especially right. it, it's pretty manual labor too for you guys right to individually wrap and it is the, it is the time and yeah. um, that's another thing as I mentioned uh, just briefly there about you know uh, business functions this is great if you are having um, again just bus business meetings boardroom yeah. meetings whatever it may be and you want to be a little different maybe uh, you know at the office space just kind of throw something in different this is a really nice treat for people to have. yeah yeah you know? we um, we are we've been really lucky we mm -hmm. we just um, a few months back when Oprah was here we supplied the VIP room for yeah for that's Oprah, pretty cool which I was, was going to mention cool. that so you got yeah. to put together a special gift box for her and you made a giant platter for the VIP yeah, room that was amazing that's pretty awesome so yeah. hopefully and she enjoyed would you love her she called you put her show yeah I love I love hottie biscotti <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite things yeah oh that's what you want right <laughs> that would be you're amazing this, this place will be a line up down to Westdale. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Debbie. That's thank good you. stuff. And uh, best of luck so to you in your much. business. Very good. Thank okay, you. thank you so much. Thank you. All right, that's it for Terra Home. Where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plant locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Terra at Home. We are outside in our beautiful gardens, and I found Miss Chef Julia with us, and you are from Julia's I and am. Retorno, Retorno in Oakville. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us here today, and it's just such a beautiful, gorgeous day. Mm, it's summer, awesome. and we are here to talk about these wonderful wood-burning ovens. Yes. So, uh, again, not just for pizza, but we're going to master a perfect pizza, too. There is nothing. This is my newest toy, and it is a toy that I can't get enough of, because once you master the art of pizza making in this oven, mm. it's a culinary world out 
out there a food that you can prepare, Leslie. And there is nothing like the smell that we're just about to experience mm -hmm. when we're pulling the food out of this oven. Right. We live on a ravine, and it's a bit of a problem because every time I use it, I feel compelled to hand out slices to the people <laughs> that are walking by because I feel so guilty, can, right? Well, no kidding, but I mean, right. everybody loves pizza because it, you really can make it for the individual. So there's something for everyone. Well, you, you know, just have to be creative. You brought up just a really great point. One of the things that I love to do, and it's a great idea, is like a pizza party. Mm -hmm. you know, this is just a few of the ingredients, but think of this as a canvas. Right. And like any artist, you want to make it your own, right. right? Exactly. And use whatever ingredients your imagination wants to enjoy and mm -hmm. eat mm -hmm. could belong on this pizza, right? And I right? love that is that you can use sauce, you can use right. just olive oil. I mean, you Absolutely. can be as plain or you can just load it up. So well, You know what? Absolutely. Here's one of the things that I really want to emphasize, Leslie, that people sometimes don't know about this little oven. You know that old adage, more is better? More is not better mm -hmm. when it comes to making a pizza. Mm -hmm. The less mm -hmm. that you put on, mm -hmm. the better that it is because the pizza itself, the dough when it's in this oven, just it, it, on it's, its the own. right crispiness and texture, right. the chewy, you get everything, right? right? You're getting the right combination, so you don't want to have because what it does, it weighs it, away. Down, yeah. weighs it down, so when it goes in the oven and it's mm -hmm. got too much stuff on it, you're mm -hmm. going to have the bottom is soggy. Right, right, and that's why that happens. And the thinner it is, the lighter it is, the more you can eat. Ah, see, right? I love that. Don't that's you so like true. that? So do you like fresh basil? I do. I love okay. basil. So love. fresh basil, simple, simple, easy peasy. Let's just put a little bit on here just okay. to, because we have a nice sauce. This is like a nice pizza sauce that we've already made. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm going to tell you a secret. You can actually buy some really nice pizza sauce already made read the ingredients mm -hmm. and you'll see that there are some out there now that don't have a lot no additives like yes. you would make at home if you that's could that's what you want right please you want my nona i'm apologizing to my nona she's telling you me <laughs> no, honestly no it's no, never as good as yours okay <laughs> she's saying what are you saying <laughs> what did i teach you okay how about some grilled chicken you like perfect that's great okay because okay, i'm making you this for you actually make pizza very healthy because you are dealing with a very thin crust and you don't have to put on a lot of heavy or, or salty meats. You can keep it completely vegetarian if you want. And again, Absolutely. or just a light meat like chicken. So 100%. And yeah. then, you know what? That's there's as an Italian, nothing drives me crazier than when people say that pasta and pizza is fattening. <gasps> no, not true. It's the not true. How you prepare it, right? What do you put on it exactly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have the dough. The dough shouldn't be so thick that it grows in your stomach for six more no, days. You know, it should be. That's not a good feeling. No, <laughs> no, it's not a good feeling at all. All so, right, so this is beautiful. So I love this. So a little bit of mushrooms. I'm assuming you like mushrooms because they're out here. I do. I do. You so. know what? I'm easy to please that way. That's well, really that's good. good because this is for you, and you're going to have to eat this, and then we're going <laughs> to. You have no choice. Okay. But while I'm doing Force this. Me. You're going to help me do something. Okay, now this is interesting. So yes. let's talk about this. This is actually just a beautiful sauce that you made yes. oh so quickly. Yes. And it, it's different because we're adding eggs to it. Well. I know, eh? Who would have thought? I know, but That's in the Italian thing. world, everyone's like, of course! But hey, I mean, like, Any good British, Italian like, Roman Catholic girl mm -hmm. knows what this dish is. Uh -huh. Because on Fridays, before we can eat meat on Fridays, we had to find a way to be creative and inventive, right? right? And this, now we sell it at the restaurant. Like at lunchtime, people mm -hmm. love this dish. And mm -hmm. what it is, that cooked in the oven for three to three and a half minutes in that oven. Because of, again, the because high heat. Because of the high heat. And, heat and, it's and quick. The, Exactly. Yeah. And it has olive oil, it has tomatoes, the pezzatoni tomatoes, the aurora oh, tomatoes, yes. the passado, which are the tomatoes that are passed through, that are strained, that are without any chunks, yes, right? Yes. Fresh basil, fresh oregano, and a little bit of pesto. Slid that in the oven. Oh. And now, I'm going to let her do the hard work. I know, I can't believe I'm cracking <laughs> Don't. I'm, I'm actually afraid, but okay, I'm, I'm cracking eggs right now. Because most so. people on the air will never crack an egg. <laughs> hey, I'm impressed. So there's Go one. Ahead. No, I'm supposed to try to keep these intact, though. That's the problem. No, you, no, don't have, you know what? Even if you don't, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, and I'm just going to wash. la di da la di da da So, again, like, this, this is kind of... Well, come, these, looks, it looks a little weird right now, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. This. But this is just going to bake right into here, right? You got it. Okay. You got it. And, and that's going to cook in the sauce. Put them all in there, babe. Okay. All right. And then you got a couple of space over there. Yep. Oh, that one is a little crazy. <laughs> I've never oh, wait a minute. so many eggs in my life. She's fast. fast You've done this time. before. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. Da -da -da. Whoa, I'm getting You're not everywhere. fooling me, girl. There we go. <laughs> I'm ready for you. Thank you. Look at okay? that. You're awesome. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this oven door. And okay. one thing, it's now at a beautiful temperature. Like this thing, once you, if you're using this at home mm -hmm. and you make your pizzas, right? Yes. You can also make your desserts in here, you know? Oh, like perfect. Like you take that pizza dough and mm -hmm. then once it comes out of the oven, plain pizza dough, a little bit of Nutella, you know that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're talking about your four-year-old, right? Yes. 
like he's not gonna eat that. I know, no like kidding. Nutella oh, and some great. fresh sliced bananas. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. And I even make strawberry pizzas in there too. Oh, I love so it. So you can actually have your, like your beginning appetizer, yeah. mains and desserts. Well that's the thing, once you invest in something like this, um, really, I mean, you start to have fun with it because you okay, if I own this, this is beautiful. I right. wanna have people over, I wanna entertain and now the possibilities are endless. And you know that whole thing about guys and barbecues? Yeah. My husband, honestly, who knows, a very talented, brilliant man. I am saying this to everybody <laughs> to hear. But when it comes in the kitchen, forget about it. Yeah. Okay? But this thing he loves. In fact, we fight because he doesn't want me near it. He becomes the, the official word for someone who makes pizza as a pizzaiola. Uh -huh. So my husband, that doesn't have an Italian name, is the family pizzaiola now. So there so you go. They and guys that's what's love great. It, yeah. so this is one of the large ones. We have a smaller one as well. And yes. we carry these at our Milton store and yeah. our Waterdown store. And... Yeah. It, you can actually own one of these. This is, it's actually attainable now because, again, right from Italy, made in Italy, but you can create something that tastes and like... the great thing about these is that aesthetically, like sometimes you see these ovens that are built in, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't have to build this in. Look at the beauty of this. I know. It's actually really cute. Okay, so I'm right. going to let you put this yes, in. Yes, I'm going to put this in. And there. Um, I'm going to step back so that you got lots of room here and okay. uh, go for it. Yeah, nice sure. Let me do oven. the hot stuff. I'm letting you do the yeah, hot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks All a right, lot. Good luck. We'll see you in a second. This is cool because we get to see yes. watch these eggs being baked. And yep. uh, and again, we're going to put the pizza in as well. And uh, what we'll do is we'll take a break. Yep. And then we're going to come back. And yes. we're going to show you, all again, another uh, another dish as well. Oh, that, that's the best part. Um, that you can make yes. in this oven because, again, the possibilities are endless. So we'll come back in just a few. Please stay with us. Stay with us, yeah. Great. That was fun. where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Terra at Home. We're back with Chef Julia and we have pulled all of our food out of the yeah. oven. Look at these beautiful eggs that have been big. What is this dish called again? Lava purgatorio means eggs in purgatory, which is where none of us want to be. But if you're an egg, it's a good place. It's a really good place, right? <laughs> so true. It sounds <laughs> so, so much better when you say it. Yes. Okay, and we have our beautiful pizzas. Yeah. And what was this dish Oh, this made? is, oh yeah, because we didn't uh, talk about this. Right. This is um, so healthy. It's mm -hmm. scary healthy. That's why I hate telling people when it's healthy because so, it's so delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's layered mushrooms, zucchini, and tomatoes oh. with a little bit of tomato a sauce, olive oil, basil, a little bit of garlic. Easy. Oh. Be easy peasy. I love that. Actually, okay. do you want to try that? Because I'm going to take sure. a little piece and okay. sure. put it on gonna, a plate making, for you. She's making a plate for me because she's the, you know, yeah, yeah. Because you a have fine to Italian woman. This is, uh, yeah, this is, you have to you, eat. You, the, they want to feed you. You, you don't look at food, <laughs> Leslie. That's right. They don't look at food. We <laughs> eat food. And I'm noticing you're using scissors yes. to cut your pizza. Oh, it is the best tool in the world. You know, those little, mm, that looks right. really good, but this is just right. so much more you're effective. Way more control. Hey, this is a pizza that you made, by the way. All right, all right, mm -hmm, right, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, and don't okay. forget, we had a margarita pizza that we made here, and that's made with whole wheat dough. Whole wheat dough, beautiful. And that's a focaccia over there. All right. So you have to eat that too, so pace so yourself. It's a little bit of a thicker, okay. That's pace a thicker, it's more like a bread, and yeah. that has the oven roasted tomatoes and the fresh basil on that too. Oh, lovely. Ready? Okay. So lovely. now, we're ready. Okay. Uh oh. See, so do you see how they cooked? Oh, Look I how love beautiful that, that is, eh? Oh, that's and wonderful. And I think I want to do it like this. Okay. So and look at that. Oh, beautiful. Now, so then you would skinny? use um, like a little bit of crusty bread and then dip and have fun and you say kids love this too and it's very appealing. And it's a funny mm -hmm. thing in, in the restaurant when people are afraid to dip. It is the yeah. most oh. wonderful experience. Oh, it's it not is. just it's about dipping cookies. Get your hands in there. The bread. Beautiful. 
Ugh. No, the chef, every chef loves to see mm -hmm. someone taking that bread because they want to eat it. Clean off the bit. plate. You are, you know, you're looking at the plates and all they, I love, they cleaned off their plate. You so I have it. my fork. Oh, this is lovely. I'm so, so excited. So what do you want to try first? And I'm going to keep cutting to this say. too. Okay. Because I have a funny feeling that there's one or two people out there yes, that are helping do. us with this. Thank you again so much, Chef Julie, for coming on the show. And again, these wood oven pizzas are available at our Milton location and our Waterdown location. Pleasure to work with you. Come in here and have fun. Nice working with Thank you Thank you, Pizziola. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. All right. Let's have enjoy. Have a great weekend. Good to see everybody. <laughs>